Yo, what's good, everybody? What's good, YouTube? You already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Diamond fucking Hover. I'm back on my shit, and I'm back on this shit now. Look, man. Next Gen 2K21. I actually wound up making a small forward, I mean, power forward. So, as of right now, um, I'm a 6'7 power forward, uh, 6'11 wingspan, slim build, uh... 200 pounds you feel me so i'm just going to wind up showing y'all the rest of the stuff at the end of the video but right now i'm just on my attributes right now and i'm showing y'all what i was choosing what i went through and what my stats are actually right now so before you even get to this page right here and seeing the badges and the potentials i am 6'7 6 611 6 wingspan 200 pounds 200 pounds right so you see i have a driving layup of an 88 a driving dunk of of, of a 92 a 70 close shot 93 93 ball 91 mid-range 73 uh 75 free throw you feel me i just wanted to get my badges to the to, to the max possible you feel me i wanted to be able to juice and get the most badges possible out of every category so i might mess with the little stats from here and there but i'm gonna wind up showing y'all what it's actually gonna be right here because i wanted damn near 10 across the board i think i wound up actually do wind up actually having actually just like nine defensive badges i wanted 10 but nine is good enough for me as long as i can damn near get clamps chase down artists like intimidator and a little shit like that you feel me especially at power forward it's gonna be like a huge game changer you feel me so as of right now, I have a 63 pass accuracy, which isn't really that bad. I'm not really that much of a passer, passer, but I can pass the rock if needed. You feel me? 84 ball control, uh, 84 speed with ball. So you're going to be able to speed boost with this with this build at 96 overall, 97 overall, 96, 97, which are, whichever one it is. Or you could buy XZ uh, boost. You feel me? So at 99, you're going to have a 95 three ball a 97 dunk a damn near 90 ball control you feel me 90 perimeter defense he's locked down he's really really locked down with a 92 vert he's really going to be getting up and getting busy with people now for the takeovers i was really torn between which ones to really choose from i wanted to do spot up shooter but a lot of people told me spot up shooter was not it so i just wound up going with my uh limitless range and then finishing moves for my finishing badges so for my finishing takeover so i got jason tatum pascal siakam and zion williamson at scoring machine at six seven six seven scoring machine power forward you feel me i don't know how pascal siakam and all of them is really considered scoring machines but whatever they say i'll take it so we wind up with 10 finishing badges now for my 10 finishing badges i'm gonna go with posterizer on gold slithery finisher on silver and I was torn between the Acrobat and a, and a Giant Slayer, but a lot of people told me that the Fearless Finisher is going to be more more accurate than, than the Acrobat. So I just went with the Fearless Finisher. So Fearless Finisher, Giant Slayer, and Slitty Finisher will be my main badges and posterize. You feel me? With the Fearless Finisher on gold if I wanted to choose to go that route. Now, for the other badges... I'm going to show you all right now, but for the 10 badges right there, I'm just going to rock out with those. Now, for the 24 shooting badges, catch and shoot is mandatory, obviously. Stop and pop, I, I mean, I haven't really touched the game and really played the game, and I just really just kind of got the game, so I'm really just trying to see which one is which and which stuff works the best. So I'm going to go with catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, stop and pop, green machine, corner specials, difficult shots, and probably like deep fades or something else like that, because... I haven't really i can't really tell you what badges really work minus the ones that we know work regularly on current gen so i'm just going to go with those as of right now plus you get 24 you're going to be able to unlock different ones throughout the year you're going to be able to tell which ones work which ones don't you feel me so it's going to be able, it's a process you feel me but as of right now deep fades i mean deep threes dead eye uh hot zone hunter stop and pop Catch and shoot and corner specials is on gold with a Hall of Fame green machine because you need to be able to have the most greens possible. You feel me? Like that's the point of the game. If you hit greens, you need to be consistent to have your green window open up bigger for you. You feel me? So I'm going to go with that. And then difficult shots is on silver just in case you take a couple off balance shots. And you feel me? Difficult shots is self, is self explained. So if you're a shooter or you're a scorer, you need difficult shots. There's no way that you're scoring a ball without difficult shots. Now, 18 playmaking badges. 
Ankle Breaker is going on gold. Space Creator is going on gold. Quick First Step is going on Hall of Fame. Space Creator might actually go on Hall of Fame as well, only because if I get the really speed boost and dribble and create space and break ankles and Ankle Breaker actually works this year, it's going to be a game changing. It's going to be game changing, I promise you. Now, Tight Handles is going to go on Silver just because I really don't want to get ripped, even though you still might get ripped. And I had four, four um, remaining upgrades after my handles for days is on silver and bullet passes is on silver so i have two remaining and i kind of just going to rock out and put it on silver dimer just in case i'm on a court with niggas that can't really score the ball i need help scoring and need a boost app after my pass so i'm just going to rock out with that now for the finishing i mean for the defending like i told you i only need clamps i've only had clamps on gold and silver uh chasing artists the last couple years so i get to actually have what four more badges after that so i'm gonna go with intimidator on silver and ankle braces on silver just so i don't get broke i want to be able to be the best defender possible with the with the 90 perimeter defense that y'all saw that i had so i have 90 perimeter defense with clamps and ankle braces you feel me so if this build helps y'all out in any way shape or form make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell on the side man it's your boy diamond fucking hoover i'm out this bitch man let's get it